this is the updated part two of the Simmons Flexkey Generation 2 that I am trying out. We had some really weird weather where it snowed and then rained in December, the first time in my experience here in Alaska since 2004, but sourdoughs, people that have lived here most of all of their life, said that they've never seen that before either, where it rained almost for two days in December. And then we got two feet of snow after that, so needless to say, we were pretty much nonstop moving snow. And then it got super, super, super cold for about a week and a half, <clears throat> negative 20, negative 30 Fahrenheit. And so this is the first that I've been out on this in the snow with that nice fresh new two feet of snow on top of that big crust of ice. And so we're out playing around on some dog mushing trails here and then eventually we'll head to some birch woods and do some what I call birch whacking instead of bush whacking. Uh, it's a lot funner in the bush uh, and the birch trees than brush. It's no fun. But uh, son bought a new, uh, new to him, ski bike. So it's basically his second or third time trying it. He was playing around with it probably in his parking lot at where he lives. But the skis did phenomenal well on the hard pack. They did extraordinarily well on the ice. Uh, there's Kind of late in the day here you can see we got stuck behind some moose that were in the deep snow on the trail and so we had about 30 minutes waiting for them you'll see a, another video about that it's oftentimes moose will trample people on snowmobiles and we had someone in the newspaper that was squished um, with their dogs dog musher was attacked by a moose with all this deep snow the moose stick to the trails <coughs> so here I'm telling my son that I'll show him where all the birch trees that will hit, so we'll zing on to there, but while we're driving, the uh, Skidoo Scandic 2021, I probably put about 100 miles with these new flex skis on, uh, maybe even more, and really liked them on the ice. They turned great on solid glare ice skating rink ice. It was incredible to just see how well they grab their brand new skags so I'll see how they work as time goes on but man fantastic compared to the OEM ski that came from Skidoo that just you had to get off and pull yourself on the slippery ice these generation 2 Simmons flex skis are fantastic here in the deeper snow uh, we'll talk about that once we get into the birch whacking fun here on this trail there's been one other person that's been before me I think my neighbor has gone and cleared some brush so that he can dog mush but other than that it's about three inches of semi-packed snow and about two or three feet of snow underneath that so it's it's really nice base finally and these Simmons skis do fantastic on the three inches of some some moderate pack on the hard pack road <clears throat> that uh, we we got here with it still chatters it's not very pleasant to go above 30 miles an hour so if you're into high speeds then um, the OEM skis are much more rigid and uh, eventually when I get time I'm gonna try the Simmons flex skis generation 2 which are much more rigid than these flex 2 generation skis so far I'm, I'm wanting to stick with the generation 2 just because the width of the skag is six inches apart and man it just turns so well in the deep snow here we'll I'll show you I can um, feel the comfortability is just extraordinary compared to the all the other skis that I've ever used on snowmobiles this I'll, I'll never go back to anything but a dual carbide up front it's just so incredibly nice 
and so it will be nice it will be fun to try the generation 3 it, much more rigid dual carbide up front it's not as wide um, maybe it will do okay in deep snow but here as I switch out gloves because I know I'm going to be doing a bunch of technical stuff and I'm not going to be going as fast as what I would be on the open trail so Lazarus is having some fun here we he was playing around a little bit while we were waiting for the moose to get out of our way but um, this is basically his first time in deep woods and he really is I don't think he'll ever go back to a snowmobile after riding the snow bike but it was okay I rode it a little bit <clears throat> but I, I prefer going slow and with that snow bike you have to keep moving just for balance sake and I like being able to go <clears throat> start and stop with this skidoo but I see some benefits on the snow bike it's definite side hill advantage and tight tight maneuverability but anyway so here I am now on super deep untouched snow that's never been touched by anybody no dogs no other snowmobiles we are <clears throat> going in an area that nobody ever goes I've gotten a lot of chog out of this area there's just nothing but birch trees and they uh, all the stumps and all the trees that have fallen down and all the brush have been covered by three feet of snow and ice and so it um, <clears throat> steers perfectly a uh, slight maneuverability to get past trees super easy you don't have to beg it you don't have to kind of hope that you slide eventually the direction you want to go you point and these skis push you there it is so different than the OEM stout skidoo skis that come with it like those skis they're really nice but compared to this it's it's about a hundred percent difference in turning in deep snow um, overall you know I still give it about a 50% difference just the, the, the entire trail riding deep snow ice it, it's a 50% improvement above the OEM ski but here in the deep snow 100% improvement there's just no difference at all and down uh, a towards the bottom of this hill I turn around looking for my son because I can't see him anymore and um, I take a turn and uh, the GoPro does okay at some of the slope not really but somewhat and but the turn that I turn around here in the next three or four minutes is the old skis would have gotten me stuck because it was a real tight turn there was a tree in front of me it was on an uphill thing and I had to go slow and with those other skis you kind of slide and so you kind of have to go slow or, or fast and oftentimes on an uphill thing you kind of want to go fast so you can get some momentum but with these skis they grab so well that you can just putt putt along and make a tight turn on an uphill slanted position and anyone that's ever done deep snow knows that that's a combination for getting stuck especially with a big heavy sled and untouched snow so these skis totally um, will be what I would recommend use myself um, even my son Lazarus's snow bike had dual carb skis on the front of his timber sled unit so it's it's really if you don't have dual carbs on the front try the Simmons flex skis uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed uh, as I have not now I got these for free so I, I I'm you know I'm biased but I definitely would buy some after trying these I wish I could send them down your way and have you try them but if you uh, put them on your heavier skidoo sled like I've got and I they, they advertise on their website that they're good for mountain sleds too but for what I'm using it for, I've been totally satisfied. So here I'm going through some real technical um, deep stuff. It's getting tighter. It's getting narrower. Um, no problem at all navigating within a few inches of these tight trees. Later on, we get stuck in some black spruce pine woods. 
and I broke a couple of the old dead trees and the skis didn't show any signs of um, damage to them so uh, here's a super super this one's really tight I just barely made it through that one but these skis have been really tough they've been no damage to them at all with the uh, 100 plus miles that I put on them they look brand new I bring them in my garage I don't I don't put uh, wheels on them the skags really hold up great on the little bit of concrete that I've been uh, throwing them on uh, so I, I have not been treating them with kids gloves and they have uh, not shown bad quality Chinese make skis made in America made in Utah really happy with them the skidoo I've made sure now here's this hill that I'm talking about that my son Lazarus disappears and I don't know where he's at and I flash my lights looking for him but the skidoo I had in low and in sport mode just because I had no idea how deep the snow was going to react with it and I didn't want to have any lack of horsepower and so here I'm going to take a pretty sharp turn it'll well it's not yet actually but it's coming up So these birch trees grow in huge groves. That little ridge that we just came through where all the pine trees were tight, it separates them. And so there'll be these big, huge flats. Um, and it's not really a flat that I'm in, but it's it's there's no ridges to it. And so these drainages, these south-facing drainages, really are excellent environment for the birch trees and I've noticed that nobody ever goes in them and so I'll take a hammock and and get out my Kelly kettle and, and I'll sit in these birch trees for a couple hours and have a snack and it is so peaceful you can see far into the woods you're not surrounded by a bunch of prickly needles and here's this tight turn that I'm taking uphill on a slant through tight tight trees there's really no place to back up in this deep snow without getting stuck and so these skis didn't slide one bit they grabbed a hold of the direction I wanted to go and off I'm going up to find Lazarus who's pretty much his first time it's his third time being on the snow bike but in the deep trees like this it's his first so I'm trying to make sure he's not st stuck somewhere or tipped over on him Backtrack in here a little bit. Now I'm going to take a sharp left and head. And this is pretty steep here. This doesn't look like it on the GoPro, but this um, snowmobile, this 20 inch wide 600 four stroke, just is fantastic at these trails. I took them a lot last year and had a lot of fun with them. So I was pretty confident that I. I, I could get through it even with this new snow load that we just had but I um, wanted to really try out these new skis in a situation where I had uh, only had it on trails <clears throat> and with, with really light snow I keep repeating myself here how much I like these skis but if you've ever done any snowmobiling with bad skis that that go wherever they want to they're too narrow you can't steer then you'll get excited about good skis it's it's the difference between having good tires on your vehicle and bad tires hydroplane with bad tires and crash and no traction snow and ice with bad tires Now what he's on, I'm laughing at him because it's a really steep little side hill that he's got there and he's just going between handlebar widths of some birch tre uh, some pine trees that are up on that ridge. And so I'm in a little valley here and I'll eventually meet him back up on the trail. But Now this part is exceedingly steep and there's a drainage ditch that I'm driving in. Is this amazing or what? Yes, it is amazing. It I love gets this. Better down there. this Behind is really me. Technical, but you're doing great. 
Damn it, it's open and big and wide. So what I'm saying is that if we would have kept going downhill, we would have had more fun. But it was getting dark. I wanted to get back home before it got pitch dark. So we're talking about what he's doing, and I'm about ready to. That's great watching you. We'll do it when we have more daylight. Okay, he's inviting me to to drive, and I'm like, forget it. No way. I'm chicken. So I hate I head up this drainage ditch and really hit the gas and get up all these bumps, and that's the other nice thing about these skis is that for some higher speed maneuvering, those one or two inches makes the difference between getting the the line that you're looking for or hitting the tree that you're not looking for, and so the agility that these skis bring to going slow or fast has been more than a hundred percent improvement above the OEM guess skis that you kind of just drive by braille and kind of run into stuff and hope things work out. So really impressed with these skis. I'm going to stop yapping here as we head back down the hill uh, and cruise along and get down into where Laz's crash is pretty bad. It's pretty funny. I, I get a good kick out of it. and He does too. He's pretty, we're pretty good team together we like riding um, I do a lot of support and he does a lot of the playing around it just keeps us safe when it's cold it was about negative five when we went out it wasn't great it wasn't horrible but we dressed pretty thick and um, I'll uh, let you make up your own mind as you try the flex skis you try some and make sure to get a hold of me if you buy some skis and let me know your thoughts on them Hopefully I'm not steering you wrong. Uh, I've tried to be as impartial as possible with um, some skis that were given to me for free. Uh, no one from Simmons has pestered me and said, hey, you know, we didn't like your first video. You should have said this. You should have said that. Delta Power Sports that helped me get them out of Delta Junction, Alaska, it hasn't either. So it's it's been real pleasant working with both of them. Um, thanks if they're watching this video. Really appreciate your high quality work and really easy to install instructions and I'm sorry it's been so slow for me to try the generation 3 skis I, I will get to them I promise um, I, I can't give a date but I will get to it we have some really nice weather coming up here for the next week and I'm gonna put a ton of miles on these generation 2 skis um, and if I get time uh, uh, next cold snap I'll put the generation uh, three skis on and then be ready for the next warm warm up all right uh, lord bless you guys if you're interested in any uh, normal functional christian life videos i've got a ton of those uh, alongside with living in alaska videos so i hope you can check those out and leave comments and uh, it's been fun to f visit with a lot of you guys comments are a fun way to visit with people and so if you enjoy that, uh, I'm telling you here that I enjoy it definitely. So take care. Cheers from Alaska.
not get stuck in that deep snow at all. No, it's great. What can I do? Tell me when you're pulling. One, two, One, two three. Okay, wait. One, two, three. Thing about this, whenever you try and step off, <laughs> you just fall in. 